Hello very much here and I'm back with some more computercraft and today I'll be showcasing the new update for computercraft which is version 1.46. Um, it is available for Minecraft version 1.4.2 and the two recipes I'm going to show you are first of all the advanced computer the advan and then the advanced monitor. It's two new recipes. And uh, then I'm actually going to show you what those items actually do. So let's well, first of all make the advanced computer right here, which is basically a computer and you replace the stone with some gold. And it's pretty much the same with the monitor. And um, there we have two items, or the two items. And actually just as a side, well, a side comment, now there's a little tab right here for computer crafts. So you'll find all the items you need in here. Um, so it's uh, if you don't have to look in redstone anymore. Just, uh, just as an indication anyway. So what is so good about the advanced computer that this computer does not have? Well, let me show you um, a few examples first of all, and then uh, I'll show you the tools well, which are used in both programs. So first of all, I'm going to show you a little program called Paint. I didn't make it myself, it's actually part of the update. And then you uh, choose the name of the file you want to store the image in. So let's call it paint.test, right here. So, what do we see? Well, basically, I it's basically a little painting system, and you can draw whatever you want, change the colors, um, and all. It's absolutely awesome, and you do everything with a mouse. So that actually makes me come to uh, my main point, which is what has been implemented. And that is... What has been implement, uh, implemented is, the, well, first of all, mouse control, and secondly, uh, multiple colors on the screen. So that's really awesome. One other example you can see is in a worm, which is basically like a snake, and it uses uh, well the new pixel system. So that's pretty cool. Now then, let me show you the tools you will you will be needing. Now then. First of all, we will analyze the new events which are available. There are three of them. So let's see. So the very end, and you can see events only on advanced computers right here. So we have mouse click, mouse drag, and mouse scroll. Mouse click is basically when you click, mouse drag is when you move the mouse, and the any button is down, and mouse scroll is when you use the scroll wheel. That's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, I'll probably do some, tuto well, some tutorials which will be more in-depth later on. Um, right now I'm rather showcasing what uh, are the well, what's new. So, next I want to show you the term API. It has been changed a bit. It has three new functions. Is color, I think it's, I'm not sure about this one. I believe it indicates whether it's an, or whether the computer is advanced or not. Set text color basically um, set the color of the text. It's pretty much self-explanatory. And set background color set the color behind the letters. So uh, I will show you later on. Later on, later on. Let's see. And finally, I'm going to show you an API, which is Paint Utils, which is new. You write it all in. Well, no capital letters and Paint and Utils are attached. And we have four functions, draw pixel, draw line, load image, and draw image. So I won't be showing load image and draw image, well, because they are probably used in the paint program. Uh, well, I won't be using them today at least. And let's see, what do we have? The draw pixel, I will use and draw line, I'll use too, but the draw line, be careful. The notation here is incorrect, it's actually start x, start y, and two other arguments, end x, end y, and then the color. So uh, don't be mistaken about that. So then let me actually show you in the Lua console a few examples. First of all, draw pixel. It will change uh, the color of one pixel and then it will keep the background color um, to, well, to the color which is indicated in the function right here. So, first of all you type paint utils dot I don't know 
draw pixel like that. Then you type the x and y position. So I did the math actually. Well, it's not really math. I counted. So a computer has 59, no, 51 pixels wide and 19 pixels high. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually paint the pixel right here. Um, how about lime? So that will be greenish. So we want 51 and 19 just to change the position right here. So, and then we want the color. So we use the colors API like that. And you select the color. So it will be lime. And as you can see, the pixel right here is set to lime. And all the next pixels will actually be set to the color after that. So you have to rechange the color of the of the background, I guess. And to do so you use term dot set background color and then you just indicate the color. So let's set it back to black. Colors dot black. There we go. So everything I type now is black. You can also um, change the color of the text, so let's use term dot set text color like that and when you select, select the color, so how about I don't know, red this time. There we go, you can see the text is in red. Awesome. So now I'm going to show you one last function which is paint utils dot draw line. So it will draw a line and I will show you how to use it properly, not as indicated right here. Because there are two arguments missing in this notation right there. So paint U utils, no capital letters. Util. Ah dang it. Utils, no E dot draw line. So the start X, how about um, let's say 10 and the Y position will be 5 J just um, an example then we have the X well the end X position which will be about 12 oh hell no about 30 and the end Y position will be about 15 and then you say the color you will actually draw the line. So you can actually put nothing and just do this, or you can add a comma and the color you want. So let's put colors dot. How about yellow? We want a yellow line. And there you can see the line starts here and ends here. However, the background color is set to yellow too, so it it is not changed. And uh, what should we do next? How about... Um, I know actually, I think that will be all for today. I could actually show you monitors, but it's pretty much the same. Um, it just has a few functions and I will be doing a detailed tutorial about that anyway later on. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please take the time to like and subscribe. If you have any ideas, suggestions, let me know in the comments section. Uh, personally, I do have a little idea, which I'll be dedicating a video. Uh, in my well, next time I guess and um, yeah I think since it's here I'll be saying goodbye and see you next time